Hello, and thank you for joining me for the second class of our data analysis bootcamp. So today we're going to understand distributions. Very important, kind of the, the, the first part of this really where we're starting here is, well, why are they so important? Why is it important to understand distributions? So why are distributions important? Really a beginning place of our data exploration. We want to understand our distributions to really see if we can start to identify patterns, things that are interesting, things that are worthwhile exploring a little bit. So that we can also have an idea of how maybe things like our mean, our median will be affected by the shape of the distribution. The shape of the distribution is really straight part. It always surprised me, but it seems like it's more, well, it turns out to be more important to understand the distributions in your data than it is really to understand what the data represents in real life. You can make good and deliver good insights. Now, that being said, you want to eventually understand what, what it represents in real life, but a much faster uh, way to get to your insights is really understanding the shape of the data. Um, distributions. We want to summarize the data, right? We generally don't want to say, oh, our distribution is an exponential distribution shape. We want to give summary statistics. We want to summarize the distribution, usually down to, to a number, standard deviation, mean, mode, uh, variance even. It's a little bit more digestible for people just to hear a number than it is, okay, maybe we have a distribution that's to bimodal distribution with a long right tail. It's just, it just doesn't mean as much to people, as much to people, it means more to me, but most people would say, oh, mean or average or max or min those things. So we, we really want to understand our distribution to understand how those summary statistics are affected by the shape of the distribution. And this will lead into doing hypothesis testing is, is very fundamental, has a lot to do with the samples that we covered in the last talks, and that, that, that randomness that is kind of baked into our data set that we can't really see or observe, but what is there, right? So the shape of a distribution will lead into how we're going to perform hypothesis testing. So it's really important to understand what we want to do and how we're going to accomplish our hypothesis test by understanding the shapes of our distributions. So to help us remember this, uh, let, let's imagine we are a data analyst showing up for work on, on Monday, let's say, and we're going to work. And what we want to do is we're sitting down at our desk and can I ask you what 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 colors is the desk that you're sitting down at? My, my, mine's brown. <laughs> uh, we're sitting down at my brown desk right here, and really when we sit down, we want to we want to we're going to start exploring. We can see here there's a great picture of what are we going to explore today, right? We would start with our distributions to help understand. You know, we could explore this whole valley, right? All of the data, all the hills and the valleys of our data. But that would take a long time. We probably don't have that much time in our bosses to report tonight. So we need to understand, we're really kind of sitting down to explore. We're going to go look out and start to understand where we want to go and where, what we want to explore. Okay. As we're sitting at our desk, we have a, we have a really nice poster up on our, our desk. That's really there. It kind of very nice. Look, it looks like this. It's really there to help us remind, remember, remind us that we're always trying to find the summary statistic, right? We're really being conscious of that. We're really trying to reduce down, refine down the information to more manageable, digestible, bite-sized pieces. But we have to be careful that these summary statistics, statistics can be very deceiving sometimes. And so we want to understand the shape of our distribution so that we can understand how the summary statistic is affected that by these, or maybe we should choose a different summary statistic, mean or median or mode, what would make more sense? Variance or standard deviation? What makes more sense in these situations? Okay. And we we want to make sure we're communicating properly. The end user probably won't understand the difference or might might not understand the difference. It's our responsibility to make sure that we're providing the most, the best representation of our distributions for our business partners. And then as, as we're sitting at our desk, right, looking up at our poster, we have a nice view of, of the data that we're going to go explore. There's bang, bang, bang. Kind of, kind of annoying. I don't like loud noises like that. I don't know about you. Have you ever had 
a, no a noisy neighbor or office neighbor. Have you ever had a neighbor at your house that, that's made a lot of noise? Just won't be quiet sometimes. Me too. And I think I think what they're doing that that's that's where they do the testing over there in that room over there, right next to that where they make the, the loud bang, and that's them probably getting out of their frustration as they're doing the hypothesis testing. Okay. And so it's very important that we understand why they're doing that, but it's a little bit noisy to be next to the, the room where they perform the hypothesis testing. 